Okay, well we are here at the Goodwill of Lemoyne today. I had planned on possibly driving to Burning Bridge Antiques, but it was about an hour drive and I've got Laurel with me today. So I just, I don't think we're ready for that. I think we're just gonna keep it local. So we're at Goodwill today. We're gonna head in, see what we can find to buy and flip for a profit. Here we go. Look who just woke up. You ready to go? Maybe? Okay. Thinking about it? Okay, well we've got baby Laurel with us today. We're gonna see how she does. Oops, getting sun in her eyeballs. <laughs> it's only been a few days since my last visit. Kinda like that, but I don't know. It's kinda like a bisque. It's not glazed. I like the looks of these cups. But they're plastic and they've probably seen better days. Ooh, look. Oh, I've had one of these before. It's actually a braille and there's a seeing eye dog in the middle. I believe it's a child's plate, I want to say. That's fantastic. This dog is sweet. <laughs> Jazzco Taiwan. Says. Check out that turkey. $6.99. World Bazaar. It has its original ladle on there though. Those are not glassy, baby. I thought maybe this was a taxidermy butterfly, but it's actually made of paper. Not taxidermy. You awake? I can't remember if I've looked at this before. I think I passed on it because it was a single. I think I'm gonna do the same <laughs> again. Here are some, what are these, Daisy and Rain juice cups for $2.99. And they're the blue, which I found tend to be more desirable than the other colors. Really $2.99, so I'll stick them in here. I also liked the look of this, so it's made in Italy. That's probably why. It's a very large coffee cup. But that's made from wood. I wasn't actually expecting that. Woods way something. Made in Costa Mayo, Mexico. $1.99. Probably worth more than $1.99, unfortunately. The lacquer, oh, I wasn't expecting that to happen. Um, this polyurethane finish is coming off. <laughs> Everything else wants to crush it. I like the look of the sky, it makes me think of sunset. Okay, well, unlike the <laughs> Goodwill in Maryland the other day, I just found this Vera. And it's only $5.99. It's a nice big tote that's perfect for thrifting. I can leave it in my car and um, put my stuff in it. What is that down there? The Walt Disney treasure chest. Let's see if we can get down here with the baby in this. There are books. That's kind of cool. All right. Oh, I gotta stand back up. Okay, well I had to show you this because it was kind of comical. They have this listed at $1,475. It's <laughs> insane. So this is what somebody is asking for it. And if you switch it over to sold, to see what they actually sell for. You can see down here, one sold for $6, another sold for 15. Definitely not $1,400. I was coming around the corner and noticed this stack of plates here and I thought, you know what, that border looks an awful lot like Fiesta and sure enough it is. I got dinner plates. I would say judging by the big F, they're probably more contemporary, but when you figure they're only $1.50 each, these ones, let's look at that. 
I know since they're Fiesta as well. I don't believe that these are. No, those are melamine. Looks like somebody donated their candle wick. $2.99. I'm not sure how much the uh, dinner plates go for, but there's a whole stack of them here. I may have to look those up. Candle wick. That looks kind of promising. It looks like a set of 10 sold for 150 How much do we have here? Two, four, six, eight. So there's eight candle wick plates. Looks like so they're two dollars a piece. Let me just scroll through here real quick. A set of four, 115. All right. Well, wow, looks like we're going home with some candle wick today. I never thought that would be the case. I usually steer clear. <laughs> okay, I just I feel like Tommy would be very proud of me right now for embracing the candle wick. Well, I looked up the creamer and sugar, and they sell for about twenty-five dollars. I kind of wonder if they were supposed to be together because the one isn't priced. I'm going to stick those in here. Then I'm going to investigate that platter down there because that looks like it could be promising. Well, I think I'm going to leave the serving pieces that are down there. I'm not actually going to bend down to get those. Um, that one is $3.99. It sells for about $20, but it's so wide in diameter that it would be such a pain to ship. I don't really want to mess with it. This guy over here sells for anywhere from like $12 to $15. So. I'm not going to mess with that either, but I'm going to move down here. I did just notice that there is also a serving bowl, so it might be worth looking up the serving bowl. Looks like somebody's entire collection of um, candlewick was donated because they also have these coasters here for $2.99. I think these are candlewick. I get so confused between candlewick and, like I said, I can't remember. I think it was called boopy. I think that's what they called it. So a set of four sold for 25 and then also a set of eight sold for 25 so that's a little confusing. But I found a whole stack of them um, on the cart. So $29, oh, I'm sorry, $2.99 <laughs> each for, so they're a, a buck a piece. We'll say a buck a piece. So I don't know, I guess I still have to look up that bowl and I'm just scanning at this point to see if I can spot any more. There is, um, where was that? Oh, right here. So, those ones I don't believe are candle. They have like really big balls on them. This is $2.99. There's two more in here. So maybe I'll grab these just for those two. But I don't know what those ones are. There are some salad plates hiding there. Salad plates are possibly dessert plates for $3.99. That pattern is different though. That's different. The boops are like a little bit flatter. <laughs> oh boy. I need to go back and watch that lesson on, uh, on Candlewick that we got when we went to visit Tommy's shop. Here's $2.99. These are similar. My gosh, what is going on? Here I am in the clear glass of all places. Okay. I've had very good luck with Christmas lately. And so I want to search through here before I take off. What is this on here? $3.99. These little ice skating bunnies are what caught my attention. But they're probably, oh, I was gonna say they're probably Home Co. And sure enough, there is a Home Co. marking on those. I think I looked at these the last time. I think these are Lennox lookalikes. Yeah, I would say so by the quality of the face. Can I to the for a five check? Hmm. I kind of like those with the doilies around them. Hmm. What is it? One ninety nine. Hmm. Wonder. I mean, it's not obviously for napkins for a letter or maybe a photo that looks like it could be vintage <laughs> a fella made in Czechoslovakia 199 mm. it's a little rough there on the spout I just spotted this on the shelf and I'm like oh you know what I kind of like that old 
old world Santa uh, with the moon. <laughs> and I looked it up and uh, there's one that sold for like 30 and then there's one that sold for like 75. Not of the same, but the same maker. So I think this might be worth grabbing for like $3.99. All right, we're all strapped in and ready to go home. Okay, well my total spend was $54 at the Goodwill today with Laurel. She was so well behaved. <laughs> she slept like the entire time. And there at the end I was thinking, I should probably check out and get out of here before she starts having a meltdown because I don't want to be that person. I mean, I know it's inevitable that I will be because if I'm waiting in line to check out or something, but like it drives me nuts when other parents just let their kids scream and holler as they shop. So. We got out of there with, with no crying, no whining, none of that. Um, but we're gonna get out of here now and uh, I think I'm going to head back to the shop, actually. I need to start pricing stuff. Andrew and I wanna do an entire booth rehaul um, next week. So I need to really start pricing stuff for the booth. And um, we're gonna pull a bunch of stuff out and Andrew wants to send it to auction and then we're gonna replace it with a lot of the stuff we have around the shop, which is perfect because I have so much stuff from before I had the baby and uh, I think it's just best to price some of it and send it off to the booths. So, gonna get on here now, take you guys back to the shop. I will see you there. Well, here I am back at the shop. It was just like that for you guys. It's been a few days for me. Uh, Laurel is with Andrew there at home uh, with the electrician. We've had an electrician at the house yesterday and then again today, just finishing up some of the, um, the list of things that we needed done, including hanging the dining room light, which I'm really excited to see how that looks when I get home. But anyway, Andrew and I have been wanting to redo our booths at both Carlisle Antique Mall and Bedford Street Antiques. Uh, this past auction, we purchased some more shelving, some more shelving. <laughs> um, and so we have more space to put stuff out, some small things. Um, I've kind of been putting a lot of larger pieces into the booths because it's just easier for me to list the smaller ones on eBay. But now that I don't have any help, I'm thinking, I'm okay with offloading some of the smaller stuff into the booth. So anyway, um, I'm going to be pricing some stuff today, going through some items and designating them either for eBay or for the booths. And um, then I think maybe next week I'll bring you guys a video of us actually going into the booths, pulling out some old stuff and putting in some new stuff because that is the ultimate goal. But been a really busy week so it, has, it didn't happen this week but we're gonna get we're gonna get the ball rolling so to speak so let's head into the shop and start looking through stuff here we go so here let's start with the Buckley Moss prints um, I had planned on selling these on eBay that had been my original goal Andrew even said that this one is not as scary as I think it is to ship but I've ultimately made the decision to put them over at Bedford. We have a lot of wall space over there and we can hang a lot of artwork. So I did price these. I think I priced this one like $3.95. This one I may have priced $2.95. This one actually sold on eBay recently for I think $300. So I kind of based everything off of that. <laughs> this one being $300 at that size and then this whopper of a print. Uh, and I'm not sure, I can't remember what this one is. I think they're just ice skating. Yeah, that's a really sweet scene. I love these Buckley Moss prints. And uh, it's actually you, my viewers, who made me aware of them because I saw one in an antique shop once and I was like, what is this? Now I see it everywhere, but I just, I didn't really open my eyes to it before that. So um, yeah, so I'm gonna price all the, well, I already have them priced. I have these priced and I'm going to be putting these over at Bedford. The dragonfly lamp you saw me pick up over at um, Thermont Goodwill. That's going, I just have to find the base for it. And I know it's around here somewhere. <laughs> oh, shoot, I think it's probably over here where Shelby has been processing things. I don't know, it'll show up here. I, I know I saw it. That's what's driving me nuts. These boxes are all empty. They need to go out to the dumpster. Uh, those are all empty, <laughs> obviously. That's Andrew's metal detecting stuff. It's the most favorite finds. He found this on a beach. There it is, right behind all those empty boxes. I would take all of these out to the dumpster myself, but I don't know the combination to the dumpster. 
you usually have to ask for it. So we paid $29.99 on this lamp at Thermont Goodwill. And I think I'm going to price it for double that. So double my money. Um, there is a small percentage, I think, that we pay at the antique malls. Um, but it's not anywhere near what eBay charges as far as fees go. So um, that's going over. And then I think I'm going to pull some stuff off of my to-be-listed shelves. Uh, this stuff I listed the other day. Um, so I got through all of that, which was fantastic. At least I took pictures of it. This guy, Andrew put over here. I did not list him yet. <laughs> I think he's made of resin. Andrew found him in one of his boxes. Those boxes all over there from the table that way, those are Andrew's things. So he's got some pretty cool stuff in those boxes. Um, and we're not sure yet. I think we're going to send some of it to auction just to get some space in here. And then he actually selected a few pieces to go up on the Crazy Lamp Lady eBay. So that's how we're tackling those boxes. So here are my to-be-listed shelves. Every time I make some progress on them, Shelby loads them back up again. <laughs> she processes our stuff over there and brings it over and then fills the shelves. So in the back here, I have this stack of ashtrays. I actually have one listed currently on eBay. It's a buy it now and it doesn't really seem to be doing a whole lot. So I think I'm going to price the rest of these at the same price as my buy it now and stick them in my booth. and Hopefully get them moving because there is three. I got those at Oxford Market Antiques quite a few months ago. So I think those would be worth moving over. And then what else do we see? Oh, I think that down there is Christmas. Oh, that's Christmas. I've been trying to list the Christmas stuff. You can see it here on my listed cart. Um, or at least this is everything I've taken pictures of to list. And there's the stack of the 12 Days of Christmas plates and then those Vector's Bach um, Christmas plates as well. So I'm currently listing this stuff and I'm sticking it all in my scheduled. And I think I'm going to have a Christmas in July sale probably around the middle of the month. So I'll have some buy it nows and I'll have some auction and they'll all just go live all at once. And uh, yeah, so that's the plan with the Christmas stuff. This is my listing on eBay right now. I think it's discounted. That's why it's $34.20 because I am running a sale right now. Um, I'm not sure what it would be if it wasn't discounted. But I think I'm going to price the rest of these at $32 each and stick those in my uh, in my booth. So what's really nice is that Carlisle Antique Mall has this app, I guess it is, and I could put in what I'm selling, I could put in the price, I can take photos of it if I want it listed on their website, which we don't normally do, that's an added step. That's part of the reason we put stuff in the booth is because we don't really feel like photographing it. Um, but I can put all that information in from my phone while I'm looking at the stuff and then I can access the same app from the computer over there and print all of the labels so it works out really nicely and um, we can use those same labels over at Bedford Street Antiques and rotate our inventory and our stock so we could put it over at one mall and then rotate it to the other as long as we're using those same labels um, I'm gonna go ahead and put this new item in here and I'm just gonna call it Italian pottery so a lot of the stuff over here on the tables already is stuff that I had designated for the booth and I had just not gotten around to pricing yet or getting labels for. So if I can get this stuff priced, that means I can get it off the table and I can continue working from the table, which would be really nice. I think I'm finally ready to part with this bird tree. You can see it's been here a while. It's got cobwebs on it. Um, this is one that I bought at auction a while back. Unfortunately, when Andrew was getting into the car with it, um, he put back his seat, and I think that one of these, I'm not sure which one, I don't want to play with it too much, one of them um, kind of split, and so, now I can't even find it. Uh, yeah, but one of th these split, and so um, it's very fragile. Not something we want to list in that condition with a split, because I'm afraid that when it gets to where it's supposed to go, it will have broken off completely. So um, the, these two things were bigger than I thought they were when we went to go pick them up at auction. So I don't imagine we're going to be able to ship those. Those are going to the booth. These are absolutely stunning, but look at how 
fragile those flowers are. So I'm going to place her, her friends over there. There's actually two of them, which is nice. This was bigger than I thought it was going to be. That is not the tag that goes with that. I think that lamp is actually already over there. Um, so I have to price this. Her work, I forget her name. Let's see if we can actually tip that. Susan DeMay is the name of this artist. You can see there's a hanger there so it could be hung up on the wall. It's extremely heavy and frightening to ship. But her work sells really well, so that's why I purchased this. Um, and then, of course, this beautiful Murano bowl down there. Isn't that beautiful? Absolutely love that piece. It has a scavo texture. It makes me so nervous to ship though. I don't know. Maybe I could consider shipping that one because it's just so pretty. Okay, so I'm getting ready to price this charger and you can see here one sold on eBay for $225. Um, let's see, here's another one sold for $159 in 2017. That one is much smaller. Um, here's one that sold for $110. Let's see what the size of that is. 17 inch. So that might be similar to this, but this was back in 2017. So I'm using WorthPoint to price out some of this stuff that I can't find in the eBay sold listings because eBay only holds sold listings for, I believe, 90 days. Um, at least that's what it used to be. I'm assuming that's what it still is. So after 90 days, you're not going to be able to find anything that's sold. So I use WorthPoint in conjunction with eBay. This is something I pay for. There is a link to it down in my YouTube description. I don't normally put links in my Facebook. The one thing you have to be careful of, and I've talked about this before when I showed WorthPoint, but I see questions over and over again. What is it you're using? What is that app? Um, the one thing you have to be mindful of is the dates. So you can see I'm reading the dates. Um, I'm saying, you know, this is 2022. So this is current, recent. But if you look back here, 2017, and I think it goes back. Oh, here's one for 2011. So you can see that the dates go way back. And as most people know, the antique market does fluctuate. So you really have to pay attention to the dates. And I try to get the most recent comps when I'm looking at items. And uh, so I have to think about this bowl. I don't know if it's something we can ship. I'm going to measure it and evaluate it real quick. So this is, in fact, even larger than the example we found on eBay. This is 21 inches, not 17. So it is even larger than that. Um, I'm going to consult with Andrew on this. Okay, after consulting with Andrew, we feel like the best option for this plate is to sell it on eBay. So... I'm going to attempt to take pictures of it. Fortunately, we have a very large photo box, and uh, we're going to list this one as a buy it now on eBay. Okay, well, scratch that idea. I just got it into the photo box, and the photo box revealed to me that there is a crack here. So that's one of the things I love about getting an item into this box is the lights really help uh, to show the flaws. And so stuff that I've missed when I'm out and about when I'm purchasing and, and sourcing suddenly come to light, no pun intended, <laughs> when I get it into the box. So uh, I'm going to switch gears. This is going to go into our booth because I'm afraid that if we attempt to ship it, even at a steep discount, um, I'm afraid that crack is just going to spread all the way across and it won't arrive in one piece. Yeah, that's kind of a bummer, but again, I don't have very much invested into it, so I'm not too concerned. So you can see it as I'm putting this in here and... Um, getting ready to price it. Under a short description, I put as is crack, so that's going to show up on the label when we print it. And I'm going to come down here and I think I'm going to put 52. And that way if we run a sale, it'll obviously come lower, but uh, 52 on that. And I always go to the bottom to hit save, but save is at the top. So save. There we go. So you can see here that I have added quite a few things into our inventory. Uh, the platter, obviously, at $52. The salad set there, I listed at $18. I put this pottery bird bowl. Um, I priced that out at $68. And then this mid-century lamp, even though I absolutely love it and I'd love to find a place for it in my home. I have too many lamps. So I priced this one at $225. I think I paid 100 or 150 for that at Hamburg Antique Center. And then these two beautiful ladies, I'm stepping on tape or something. There's tape stuck to the bottom of my foot. 
um, these two beautiful ladies, $168 for the pair. So I think I'm going to box up what I have priced and get it cleared off this table. I do still have these. You might remember I bought these at Goodwill before Laurel was born. I did notice that the smaller one has a rubber um, seal in there, which is kind of nice. I was trying to pull the lid off, and it was giving me some resistance. So I'm going to price these for the booth. I might price this basket for some of my dead and pottery. I'm going to price this basket. Oh, that's now. Wait a second. That's local. That's pretty cool. I didn't notice that. It says Naus on it. Um, in Adams County, we have a lot of apple trees and um, farms. And Naus is one of the apple apple orchards. So that's really cool. <laughs> I didn't even realize that. It's a nice local piece. I'm not sure yet. Well, I mean, I should probably price it. But um, yeah, that's awesome. Okay, and last but not least... I priced these batik, I think is how it's pronounced, paintings. There are two of them. I got them at Goodwill. And I was going to price that, but I forgot, so I'm just going to scooch that out of the way for next time. I did price this umbrella stand at 58 I believe. So I was going to use it in our house, but we don't really have any umbrellas, so it doesn't make any sense. So I'm going to throw some tags on that. And then... I'm going to stick everything in boxes and set them off to the side so that next week Andrew and I can get over to Bedford Street Antiques, stock the booth with our new bookshelves and our new priced treasures, and uh, then we have to tackle Carlisle Antique Mall because we've been slacking. So <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed putzing around the shop, pricing stuff with me. Um, it was kind of boring, but if you enjoyed this type of video, if you want to see more of me pricing stuff and working here around the shop, let me know in the comments. Um, I'm going to tidy up here a little bit, and then I have to go back home and take care of Laurel while Andrew runs to the auction to do an auction pickup. So, <laughs> busy day. But I will see all of you guys tomorrow. So long. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this video. In case you spotted something you just can't live without, we do post 25 to 30 new items in our eBay shop every single day, and I've posted a link to that down in the description.